Our lab is interested since several years in trying to understand um, the, mo the cellular molecular um, basis of the most frequent form of inherited mental retardation called the Fragile X syndrome. So this syndrome is very frequent in the population and is due to a mutation on a gene uh, encoding for a protein called FMRP. So what we have been investigating over the years is the effect that this protein plays in neuronal cells and looking at a very specific site of the neurons, which are the synapses. So the synapses are the points where the two, the two neurons talk to each other and is where the presynaptic signal is transmitted to the postsynaptic compartment and like this a lot of biochemical and molecular processes are developed. So in the case of uh, patients with this syndrome, uh, processes like learning and memory are impaired in addition to many other um, processes. And we are trying to understand why absence of this protein leads to mental retardation. The aim that we have in the lab is on one side trying to understand uh, how this protein works in physiological condition in neurons, but then of course uh, which are the pathway that can be activated in absence of this protein and then can be used as, as basis for uh, uh, drug uh, therapy. So we plan in the future to uh, tackle this, pro this problem of intellectual disabilities, trying to design molecules that somehow could bypass the absence of this protein and ameliorate some of the deficits present in patients with Fragile X syndrome. This is really a teamwork, uh, and I would like to start saying that I have a great team, so they are all uh, young, highly motivated, uh, extremely, great scientists from all points of view. So it's a team that works uh, independently from being Saturday, Sunday, or you know, late at night or so on. So they're really driven by interest in science and, and they are you know, spending years of their life really uh, with the goal of moving uh, science and research on fragile X and autism to the next level. So I'm very grateful to them um, because without them, this would not be possible. I moved here four years ago. Uh, I was professor in Rome, I'm still appointed as professor there, but I wanted to move science at a speed that was not possible for me uh, there in Italy. And Belgium looked to me uh, as a great uh, place to be for two reasons. First of all, VAB uh, is a great institution with supporting science, uh, international science in Belgium. And second, KU Leuven is a university that uh, was going to allow me to work closer to clinicians. The reason why I became a scientist, I have to say, um, is dictated by a, an experience I had during my university studies. So I had a great opportunity to uh, follow some courses from outstanding professors who really loved science and who were able to transmit their love for science. During those years, I really consolidated the, the interest and, and the passion that I have for science. So for me, it's somehow really more than a job, much more than a job. So it's my main interest and, uh, and, and I like to share this also with my collaborators. So hopefully our science will continue to move as we, we wish. Mm -hmm.